Hello, welcome to MatLibre tutorial number five. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, extrude polygons for 3D indoor mapping. And in the last couple of videos, I already show you how to do some 3D mapping, for example, visualize terrain in 3D and also 3D buildings. So this tutorial, we're going to look into more like a fine detail uh, polygons, a vector data that uh, you can use for some uh, 3D mapping if you have some of the uh, attributes that can be utilized. And so uh, go to the lead map, uh, map libre overview uh, page, and then um, go down here on the left side, uh, 3D indoor mapping. This is the one. You can actually see this one here interactively. Uh, this is just for 2D mapping, and uh, we can also create 3D mapping uh, like this. If you want to preview um, the video, uh, the, 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 the maps, you can go to the uh, home page in here, and then click uh, 3D indoor mapping uh, this one then you should be able to visualize this one interactively in your just your browser so i'm going to show you how to do this one uh, step by step you can um, open this one using google collab and uh, you can just run through that so this one does not require a map title api key so you can just use it directly uh, you can uncommon this one and then just run through that to install the packages then you can uh, do that uh, I'm going to use my uh, Jupyter Lab on my local computer uh, because it's a lot more smooth. So first, import the map libre um, plotting backend, and then uh, we need some data. So uh, this is the sample data from the map libre uh, history. So uh, it's just a geotation. So this map uh, has a handy function here allows you to turn the geotation into a geodata frame, and then we can just use the geodata frame explore function. To, to see this one in traditional 2D mapping. So this one is um, uh, built on top of the uh, Folium library uh, just for 2, 2D mapping. So you can see uh, the map here, the background is the uh, open street map and also have some of this polygon here, very detailed uh, polygons that you can see. And when you hover your mouse, you're gonna see the attribute. So this looks like the 3D, not 3D, the floor plan of this particular building. So you have the name, you have the height, you also have a color. A different color attribute uh, at the bottom here so you can clearly see for folium you cannot actually uh, rotate the map so you can only do 2d this is why we want to um, visualize them in 3d so it makes it uh, a lot more interesting and so in order to do that this uh, also look at the data frame so you can uh, just print out the first five rows and you can look at the attribute so we have the id column the label basically how many labels uh, of the building and also um, the height so you will see here 40 and then a different color and also the base height. So basically this is the ground and this one basically is the wall um, associated with the building. So and so you can use different color to, um, for different basically, for example, this building has multiple rooms. Each room can be color uh, using a different color and also the wall can be used a different color as well. So let's see how we can do that. And so we're going to use the lead map, uh, the map liberate uh, backend. And you can see um, we can set the center, the style. We can just use the simple uh, style. And then we add the open street map. And this is just one simple function, the add geojson uh, function. We're passing the data and the layer type. So if you don't know what to provide, uh, press shift tab on your keyboard. Uh, oops. It doesn't work this one. Uh, usually it should be oh because i haven't executed that so if i um execute this one and you take a look at this one first and then you have your mouse in here shift tab then it should bring up the help documentation so allows you to specify the data so the data can be uh http url or geojson dictionary and then the layer type so the layer type you can uh, for this case we are going to use the field extrusion because we want to fill it with color, and but we also want to actually basically make it 3D. And most of the 3D uh, visualization, we need to use this one. And the filter, so if you need to filter the data, if you don't want to show all the data, then you need to do the filter. Uh, we cover this one in the official video. The paint allows you to basically change the color. And this is where this one, particularly here, is to fill different colors. So the paint color, uh, basically the fill extrusion color, you can actually, um, you can assign the same value or you can just get the color from the attribute. So the get, this is a list, the get and then the column name. So what I'm doing here is we get the color from the data column. So from the color column, 
and this is why every individual polygon is going to use a different color and also feel extrusion height whether you want to extrude or not and it's going to come in from this height so you see uh, in this case we uh, in these five uh, rows most of them are zero and this one is 40 that means uh, zero basically just the ground and also the base the base high here everything is zero so sometimes you might have a building they have a different base high you can also get that and lastly a few opacity is the opacity of this one and we also add a layer control and you might be wondering where do you know all these attributes uh, this actually come from the map library uh, library so if you go to the overview and then you can click here to find map library so you need to look at the style spec so this is where it's coming from so for all the uh, data layer so if you could click this layer and then from the layer you will be able to see few a uh, few extrusion so these are all the attributes actually available so if you want to customize them then you need to follow this instruction here a uh, few extrusion color opacity uh translate so there are a couple more options in here that allows you to customize them this is why we can use all these attributes available there are a couple more uh, you're welcome to uh, look at the documentation so we're going to only use this and then look at this so now we have this um indoor um buildings and you will clearly see different color right the ground we can use different color and then this the wall here you actually use the um gray color especially coming from here and so we are basically turning that from a 2d something like this that you cannot you really see the 3d structure to something that we can easy we can rotate right so you can also uh, zoom in and zoom out nice thing it's we also have this one here the floor plane right so you can see this is a few museum and uh, you can turn this layer on and off also we have the open stream map uh, without the open stream map we're using the the base one uh, from um map tyler or oh, the position not really the base one so this is just the cardo db uh, base map and we over uh, the open stream map on top of that then we show the 3d plane and uh, certainly if you have your data for any other uh, the floor plan uh, data for floor plan for any buildings and then you have the height you have the color you can assign the color if you want to uh, if it doesn't have a color you can also um, just get the same color for each one uh, but if you have the height information the most important one here is the height so if you have the height information we can just do the cut the color render the color based on the height so that in this way you can get different uh, color and you can turn this one on and off uh, pretty easy zoom in and zoom out so this is how you can uh, use a uh, map library for 3d mapping as long as you have the data uh, you can be any polygon data uh, geojson or you can also use Sapphire and then convert to geojson so if you have that height column then you can use it just like this one so the only function that you need to learn is just use the map geoj uh, add, uh, json and then just passing the as a dictionary and then you figure out uh, use the field extrusion and then give a name if you want to if you give a name then it's going to be used here in the layer control and also how you want it to right. okay so this is uh, all for this video i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next uh, video take care bye bye